This is Twit. Uh, Facebook finally adds end-to-end encryption to their base messenger product. Uh, It was back in March of 2019, more than two years ago, that Facebook CEO Mark Zuckerberg proudly stated, (laughs) as if they had just discovered it, that, quote, the future of communication will increasingly shift to private encrypted services where people can be confident that (laughs) that what they, I'm, I'm having not to laugh, that what they say to each other stays secure and their messages and content won't stick around forever, unquote. So, of course, many industry observers rolled our eyes at this since even two years ago at this announcement, which was only to express an intention. Facebook was arriving quite late to the party Um, last week. Yes. (laughs) On Friday, the 13th, Facebook's Ruth Critchell or Critchelli, sorry, Ruth Critchelli, director of product management for Messenger, posted the news, quote, today. We're rolling out the option to make voice and video calls end-to-end encrypted on Messenger, along with updated controls for disappearing messages. People expect their messaging apps to be secure and private. (laughs) Whoa, who'd have thunk? And with these new features, we're giving them more control over how private they want their calls and chats to be. Option for end-to-end encrypted voice and video calls will be available. Since 2016, we've offered the option to secure your one-on-one text chats with end-to-end encryption. In the past, we've seen a surge in the use of audio and video calling with more than 150 million video calls a day on Messenger. Now, we're introducing calling to this chat mode so you can secure your audio and video calls with the same technology should you choose. So I did think it was interesting to note that in explaining what end-to-end encryption meant, Ruth's posting said, the content of your messages and calls in an end-to-end encrypted communication is protected from the moment it leaves your device (laughs) to the moment it reaches the receiver's device. You know, I don't know how carefully worded that may have been, but at least it was refreshingly accurate. Uh, Those who follow this podcast know that the point of attack simply moves interception to before departure or after arrival. Uh, And the huge advantage of grabbing it at either end is that you're potentially obtaining all of a targeted user's communications and without the pesky need to filter it out of everyone else's. And, and, you know, in case anyone listening to this podcast actually uses Facebook's messenger system, I'm not judging, you might be interested in knowing that they also announced that they had updated its expiring message feature within end-to-end encrypted chats. You know, it's something I've always been dubious about because presumably you can take a picture of the screen if you really care. Ruth's post explained that, quote, People don't always want or need their messages to stick around. And the timer controls let someone decide when their messages expire in the chat. We've updated this setting to provide more options for people in the chat to choose the amount of time before all new messages disappear from as few as five seconds, boy, you better read quickly, (laughs) to as long as 24 hours. Then two final points for the sake of completeness. They also plan to begin testing end-to-end encryption for group chats, including voice and video calls, for friends and family that already have an existing chat thread or are already connected. They're also going to begin a test for delivery controls working with end-to-end encrypted chats. This is designed to prevent unwanted interactions by deciding who can reach the chats list, who goes to the requests folder, and who cannot send messages to the user at all. And lastly, they plan to launch a limited test between adults in certain countries to allow Instagram DMs to also have opt-in end-to-end encryption. 
They said, similar to the way Messenger works today, an existing chat or mutual following relationship must exist first, at which point optional encryption can be enabled. So, Facebook begins to slowly and cautiously inch its way forward toward this goal of mostly catching up with what other platforms and third-party solutions have long been providing. You know, better late than never. Eventually, they might even turn it on by default. Oh, my goodness. 